Everyone and welcome to uh, another preview video for round 11 uh, at Hungar or in Hungary. Round 11 of uh, the Formula 1 Championship 2012. Um, so, good race in Germany. Uh, that was round 10. Excellent win for Alonso. Um, and pretty interesting um, development race. Um, Red Bull engine mapping. Lots of interesting things going on. And uh, it was a solid race. And almost immediately afterwards, we've got another one, so very good. But there's an off season coming up soon, so better enjoy it for what it is. Um, so I didn't do particularly well with the predictions last time out. Um, I was I was on. I got Vettel for second, but uh, with the disqualification after the race for uh, going out of the track and overtaking off the track, lots of uh, dispute about the the punishment and everything else. But uh, yeah. Predictions-wise, not very good. I'm very happy with the result, though. Um, as an Alonso fan, it's all turning out rather well. But anyway, um, going into the Hungary race, i um, got to run down a bit of news, um, some of the rumours and murmurings going on on the, on the internet, and then I will blast through my predictions in pretty quick-fire form. So here we go, then, for the news. Right, so Hungary, as we know, a bit of a boring track, traditionally at least. Um, very little overtaking. Um, really, it's not a, the kind of track that has much going on scenery wise. It's, it's dull. So, with the DRS and with uh, with curves and various other gimmicks, and of course, most, most importantly, the Pirelli tyres, should make for a pretty good race. It was a good race last year. And. Um, McLaren pretty strong there, so that's a bit of a tip there. Um, Hamilton's very good around there, so that's going to shape my points as well. Um, but really, um, DRS is going to be the same. Uh, DRS is going to be leading into the last corner for the main straight, so that makes much more sense than anything else. Uh, home straight, it's very long, very tight first corner, hairpin. Should make a lot of sense, and uh, I think that should work quite well. And watch out for the weather. Um, the weather surprising a lot of people in Germany. Um, didn't surprise many people at Silverstone, but uh, nonetheless, it seems to be playing quite a f uh, quite a pivotal role, a big factor uh, during the seasons so far. Um, historically, I don't think it's really rained that much in Hungary, but the weather forecasts are as uh, trustworthy as you deem them to be. Forecasters are such that although it's going to be pretty high temperature wise, um, around 30 degrees ambient temperature apparently, uh, is scheduled for some rain on Friday practice. What else is new? That doesn't really bother many people, but there's also some showers forecast for Sunday as well for the big race, so could be interesting. Form wise, um, you'd have to say that Alonso seems to be handling the rain pretty well. Um, and they're all capable of driving in the wet. I'd actually quite, um, I'd be quite okay with the dry race, really. But um, we'll see what happens. If it's a dull race, rain never hurts. Um, also, uh, with the Red Bull engine mapping going on, or we we're led to believe it's going on anyway, um, they didn't pose any sanctions last weekend proceeding or following the race they sort of let it lie it was a bit short notice to do anything about it they didn't have enough substantial substantial proof to to penalize them in any particular way uh, so they let that race ride but it looks like it's right back again um, lots of disruption amongst the teams but it looks like the FIA are going to impose uh, quite a, a strict uh, enforcement of the rule to the extent that Red Bull will have to change the engine mapping that they currently have for this coming race. Um, so who knows how much that's going to have any real effect. Um, I'm sure they knew it was coming so they've had time to prepare. Who knows how much effect it was having. Um, but they do seem to be the fastest car at the moment. And if they're going to uh, catch Alonso, um, you know, they really do need to make use of that but if they can't then um, they'll have to find other ways of doing so anyway it should be interesting I don't think it will affect them more than probably a tenth of a second or something and I'm sure they'll find a way to get around it I still expect them to be a very strong force in the following races so that, that's really the news no driver lineup changes or anything like that 
everything seems to be progressing as normal. I don't think we'll really find out much until the end of the off-season, really, where everything's going to be discussed and sorted out. So, predictions-wise, then, Hamilton very strong around her Hungary. Uh, she's won there at least once, possibly twice. Uh, we had the debacle in 2007 with Alonso, so, um, yeah, I think they'll be good. I think McLaren have made huge steps uh, over the course of the last race. Big upgrades to the car, seems to be working, and Jensen's driving, as we might expect him to as well. So... I've gone for a Hamilton sweep, uh, possibly brave given the temperature standings, but looks this way. Uh, Hamilton for a pole, pole position that, very good at qualifying, as we know, always up there. Um, got him down for the win as well, makes a lot of sense. I think they'll be overtaken in Hungary, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the position isn't going to change too drastically. So Hamilton for the pole and win, and fastest lap, that seems to make sense. Um, Red Bull still up there despite the engine mapping issues. I think they'll clean out the podium. The championship standings are such that that seems to be the way it'll be. Weber had a bit of an off race last time out, and Vettel will be very determined to make amends for last weekend. So, uh, Vettel second, Weber third. Uh, Jensen fourth, continuing the McLaren resurgence. Um, Alonso fifth, championship uh, leader. Uh, I can't see him having a bad weekend, um, and I think he has traditionally been quite good around Hungary as well. Um, but I don't think the pace of the car this time round will enable them to win again. So, solid fifth place. Uh, Reichel in sixth, doing remarkably well in the championship standings at the moment. Uh, very quietly getting on with things, banking the points, being very reliable, um, giving some good results. Um, I can't really remember Raikkonen's previous form around Hungary, but I might say it's pretty good, from world champ. So, got him down for a solid 6th place, beats him Uh Rosberg 7th, Mercedes slipped off uh, big time. Not a very good result last time out, but mostly due to qualifying issues with Rosberg particularly. Um, I don't know, but I, I think this is a different track, I think they'll bounce back quite well. Big long straight. They've got a powerful engine with the Mercedes and the DRS. They've got a high-speed car. I think they'll do quite well in the race, at least. So Ross would have for 7th place. Perez, 8th. Um, pretty good string of results recently. Uh, well, uh, excluding Silverstone. So, um, and he still looked fast there. Um, could be actually a pretty good result last time out, but I don't think that's going to happen all too frequently. Perez down for a solid 4 points in 8th place. Um, Grosjean, ninth. Bouncing back from uh, Hockenheim, um, he had a bit of bad luck. He had a very poor qualifying, mostly due to the weather, and then uh, first lap incident rather wrecked his chances of any points. But his pace didn't seem particularly high. Perhaps that's down to a lack of motivation, as once you're nearly a lap down, it's pretty hard to be bothered about getting any points. So it's bad race, and they'll move on. Uh, Grosjean, fast Renault car. Um, Looking good for ninth place in my mind. Um, finally, running down the final point, I was toying. You know, I was thinking maybe Schumacher for you know, a point or something. I was thinking Maldonado, but then I, I looked at the statistics and Maldonado hasn't had a point in the last five races. So, hmm, that doesn't seem such such a wise decision. Um, Massa, hmm, it looks like uh, Silverstone was a bit of a one-off. So, I've gone for Hulkenberg. The trend is at the moment that False India have upped their pace or have you know, found out something about how to set the car up for the right tyre wear, that kind of thing. Uh, Hulkenberg's on a good run of form, made sense to me. So Hulkenberg, 10th place, and that rounds out all of the points positions. Hamilton for fastest lap, for a sweep, which he desperately needs, actually, if he's going to get into the championship picture. Um, so ordinarily, Hungary um, isn't really a standout race on the calendar, but... Very interesting to see how the engine mapping goes. Uh, unpredictable weather is always something to to have interest in. And this is the last race before the off season, so I think everyone will leave it all out there and it should be it should be another pretty good race. Um so very much into the swing of things for the season. Uh should be good. Um thanks for watching this video though, and I'll be back in probably around around a month's time for the next race, round twelve. Uh, so see you then. Thanks again.